Okay, YouTube, got the uh, Raspberry Pi touchscreen here. I got it face down. So there's a wide flat flex cable you plug into the back side. And you turn it over, you plug in this small flat flex cable on top into there. And then this is your digital or DS1 cable that plugs into your Raspberry Pi. There's apparently two ways that you can install it. One is you can go around like this with your Raspberry Pi facing up. And then you can also invert the Raspberry Pi for a less tall stack, although you cover up that connector. And there's two ways you can power this. You can feed power into the adapter board here with a micro USB and then you can run this USB out from here over to the Raspberry Pi. The other way is you can use these GPIO pins, uh, VCC and ground over here, and run those over to the Raspberry Pi, and then you feed your power into the Raspberry Pi, and then the power for the adapter board goes over these uh, GPIO pins. And then the way everything uh, attaches is you screw these standoffs into the threaded holes in the back of the display. That holds the adapter down, and then you set the Raspberry Pi on top of the standoff. I'll show you what that looks like when I get it all finished here. Okay, I've got the uh, Raspberry Pi on top with the four screws, and I went with the GPIO pins. The one thing you'll probably want to do before you plug in this cable, at least if you do this upright, is you need to get your uh, micro SD card uh, loaded with your operating system before you put in this cable, because once you put in the uh, cable there, it's a little bit tough to get to the micro SD cards. Okay, YouTube, I think I got it figured out. I had a little problem with the large cable. I'm getting a white screen and I noticed if I jiggled these two flat flex cables the there were like little lines on the screen that would change so I pulled everything apart reseated the cables and here we go power on we've got 7.5.85 amps and we're booting up Yeah, here I have my little uh, wireless keyboard there. Got an adapter plugged in, so we've got that. And you can use your touch screen. There we go. Yeah, and this has uh, Office built in. You've got Java, Mathematica, Python. Yeah, you've got all sorts of stuff in there. That goes pretty easy. So you need a Hardwire Ethernet at the beginning. 800 by 480 on a 7 inch screen. And it's running right now. I'm only pulling 0 0.69, 0 0.7 amps. So everybody says you need a 2 amp power supply for this, but the most I saw was about 0.85 while it was booting up. So but what I want to do here, and then I've got my hardwire ethernet and now I want to plug in a little Wi-Fi adapter here so there we go we're booting up oh here we go ah there that's how where the network is there we go so that's how you get the Wi-Fi working so now I'm running wireless yeah, it looks like it uh, works pretty good I guess then the other thing you need to do is get some sound, get a little uh, speaker, but yeah, there we go. So there's the Raspberry Pi 2 with the 7-inch touchscreen. Anyway, just thought I'd show you what that looks like. So let us go and we'll shut down. Say, shut down. If you have any questions, put that in the comments section below. As always, thanks for watching.